Hey guys, welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. This is Jess from Sacred Fox. I am super pumped because we we're almost at 400 subscribers and I thank each and every one of you wonderful human beings for contributing to my creative endeavors. Um, it's been really great having you along on the ride and I definitely wouldn't be here without you guys. So thank you so much for the continued encouragement. Um, put all that aside. Uh, we have another pick a card reading today and this one is about what is your creative talent? So if you're feeling like creatively creatively stuck Try one of these activities. You can choose more than one deck if you'd like um, But this is gonna kind of work to like jumpstart your creativity and the creative process that goes on in your mind being a general reading I may not get everything on point um, Things in terms of like specific hobbies might not be able to be pinpointed in here I will just kind of emphasize some of the the abilities that you have and some of the things that might work for you in terms of yeah what you'd like to do creatively um so we have five piles here as you can see uh, we have pile number one which has got a cute little flower on it lovely little rose little white rose we have a lovely turtle here um, we have a um an axe a butterfly and a geode uh, quartz crystal so go ahead and take a moment Meditate if you want, or if there's anything you're visually drawn to, kind of go for that. We are channeling a lot of um, sacral energy today, so we have a lot of golden items. I'm wearing some golden jewelry to try to um, emphasize that creative sort of sacral chakra element. Um, the sacral chakra also has connections with sensuality and playfulness and just how you interact with the world. So we'll just kind of take a look at what we've got going on here. In regards to that, I'm going to hold a hematite in my hand. It kind of helps to stay grounded. But we're going to start with... Uh, group number one. So if you chose group number one, fast forward to the timestamp uh, provided below as well as if you've chosen any of the other groups um, and yeah, you'll get your reading. So I'm going to pop these away. It's always worrisome because I'm scared. I want to like mix them up. Okay. Put that there. Put that there. And we're not going to knock anything out of place today. Okay, is that out of frame? Great, great. We're professional film editors here, guys. Don't even, don't even try. All right, <laughs> here we go. Um, so we have pile number one. Hello, guys. How's it going? Uh, feeling like you need a little bit of a uh, boost to your energetic spark? Well, hello. I am here to help you. Um, now, creativity is very versatile. I'm aware of this. So when I decided I wanted to do this reading. I wasn't really entirely sure what was going to come up, so we'll kind of see. We'll see what happens. Um, and so we have the white rose here, which is going to be our group number one. Um, we'll put the number one to the side, and we will go ahead and start your lovely reading. Pretty, pretty flower. Um, put that over there. Great. So let's see what you got. <clears throat> we have four of swords. I've been getting that one so much lately. The tower. The four of wands. We have polar bear, which is stand up for yourself, speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to outcome. Stillness. Selling out. Ooh. So I feel like, yeah, your creativity does come from a place of where you're kind of feeling like when you take a break, when you kind of stop all of the mental day to day activities is when your creativity sort of starts to flow. Um, but I'm seeing that um, it kind of follows a period of rest. Like when you when you take enough rest for yourself, I'm seeing that that's when it really does come out because I'm seeing like the best like the like creative endeavors and things happen when you're in a place of stillness and you don't have to think of anything and you can kind of just jump right into sort of like um that creative mind that doesn't have any type of judgment or any type of like ego associated with it when you're able to create freely and in a place of stillness this is the best thing for you when you're not feeling rushed when your mind is feeling quiet um to be honest i feel like this is kind of like a harder place to get into just because of life and day to day and whatnot but i'm seeing that you are really good with activities that just allow you to just stay still and to just focus because i feel like normally you maybe have a hard time resting and you're constantly like dealing with other people's stuff and juggling family commitments and things like that. Regardless though, you do have a really nice heart and you do have a really nice um, sort of uh, energy about you, but I'm seeing that sometimes you sell yourself a little bit short. Like you don't really take the time that you need to flourish this kind of creative skill. 
um, because you feel like you really need to like deal with other things and take care of other commitments, which makes sense because we do have like the, the four of wands, which is kind of like sustaining sort of like that happy family, um, kind of grounded, rooted, secure foundation for yourself, um, as well as the loved ones around you. But I am seeing that there is like a lot of bliss that's in your life and a lot of happiness. And I feel like this is also something that really encourages that sense of like creativity in you. So it's just like, okay, so you like have this love, you have this sense of commitment and I feel like you are committed to like completing projects, but I feel like your creativity is motivated by the people around you, like your children and your family, um, your pets, um, your friends. So things like you like creating from things that give you inspiration in regards to some of the amazing, wonderful connections that you have in your life. Um, and that is beautiful. I'm seeing that, you know, just maybe a little bit of a hint. You could be a painter. You could be something that just, that's like just that tedious detail. Sometimes people are really creative in the sense where they physically need to build something and they physically need to kind of just get everything um, in order and on track and whatnot. Um, but I'm seeing that you are kind of more of like, yeah, the, 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 the projects that allow me to be still, the projects that kind of allow me to be silent, sit within myself and feel um, just at peace because polar bear comes up here. Polar bear is mama bear that survives in the Arctic and the treacherous conditions and protecting your cubs and all kinds of crazy different things that polar bear has to do to keep their family safe, which is telling me that, yeah, you are really committed and you really care about the people around you. Um, so stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attached outcome. So I'm seeing that your art, your creativity might be um, a form of self-expression because sometimes, you know, you have a hard time like, like allowing this balance to really even you out because there's like sometimes where you feel like you are out of control and you're like, okay, I need to take a step back. And just because you do work so hard I'm seeing that it is really important for you to kind of create the sense of stillness within yourself and and create from that stillness so not only is this creative endeavor something that um, is like a natural talent of yours and and something that you really enjoy doing but I'm seeing that it gives your life like an element of just kind of stepping back and be like okay um, let's kind of process all of my emotions because there is like a lot of self-sacrifice I feel that sometimes happens in your life so I feel like it's very important to just kind of Take time for yourself and make sure that you honor the stillness within yourself and just kind of come back because I feel like these, like being such a, such a martyr, such a caretaker, a lot of the time it just leaves you feeling a little bit exhausted and I'm seeing that the, this creative, this creativity comes after a place of stillness. So really excellent there. And the tower, you're about reconstructing, you're about building, you like starting projects from brand new, you like to kind of um, see, like, you, you kind of tend to sometimes start projects and like finish, like, like give them up a little bit quickly, because I'm seeing the tower is just like quick, sudden change, so sometimes you like, you get an idea and you're like, yeah, I'm going to get super into this, but then you kind of just like get distracted by other things, but I'm seeing that if your creativity is something that you want to flourish, make sure you take that time um, and don't sell yourself short of, of stepping away um, because sometimes, you know, it's hard for you to do. You're caught up in a lot of these like mental activities, these mental kind of uh, conflicts and resolutions and very mental based here, but stepping away from that is going to be so, so important for you to harness I'm getting really excited. I'm talking really fast. I hope I'm not talking too fast, but um, yeah, I'm just really excited for you because you have like so much of this energy and you you use this energy a lot for other people and a lot for managing life um, and everything like that. But I'm seeing that this level of stillness for you is going to be your peaceful place. It's going to be, yeah, this is where mama bear, this is where papa bear can go to just detach from all of like the, the, um, the frustrations of life and actually be able to vent and express a lot of those emotions through what you do um, because it's just like stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately when in some instances you can't really you, you're not really able to do that sometimes so I'm seeing that like being able to work through your emotions and your thoughts through creative endeavors is definitely your strong suit and it's actually a lot more healthy than like really like blowing up because I feel like if you don't you're going to blow up. You're going to blow up. You're going to, you're going to feel like you have no solid foundation to operate on and don't burn yourself out. Like this is a really big thing for you because just like this, this the stillness. And then this card too, the four of swords to me is just really like, yeah, okay. You need to take that time. Just don't forget to take that time. You don't want to like, you're not really helping anybody if you're feeling like 
you don't really have a solid foundation to work on. And this is a general reading, so if this particular part doesn't apply to you, um, this could be a message for somebody out there that definitely needs it. Um, but yeah, much of my love to you guys. Like you're really caretakers, you really care about your family, you care about the people around you, and you work your butt off. Um, so allow yourself to, to see a project through. Try not to give up too quickly on some of the things that you start. Um, have that patience and have that time and slot that time in for yourself because it is so, so important. Find a way to do it. You can manage other people in your life. You can manage your own priorities as well. And it's important to prioritize yourself just like you prioritize anybody else in your life. Sip of tea there. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting from um, pile number one. Just short, just sweet, just really to the point. Um, I'm seeing, yeah, Take that stillness, take that moment, whatever it is. I'm, for some reason, this lake just reminds me of like painting or just like photography or just like like something that just like captures that stillness. So yeah, the stillness too, photography could be a, a part in that. Regardless, this is a creative thing that you need to make sure that you partake in. It gives you peace, it gives you relaxation, and it allows you to take that time that you need for yourself. So you don't feel like a cello. You don't feel like you're just giving all of your mental energy and all of your energy away to others. But it's an absolutely beautiful quality and a beautiful creative um, trait. So I definitely implore you for that. Um, if you enjoyed your reading today, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks again for all of my subscribers. Super fabulous, super wonderful. Love all y'all. Leave a comment if it resonated with you. And good luck. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hello, pile number two. Welcome, welcome. We're going to be exploring what your creative talents are today. Um, so we're going to take a peek at the cards here, see what comes up. Um, this is not only like specific talents in terms of like what you're able to create, but in, in kind of how creativity affects you and how you can use it to your benefit. Okay, so um, we have the turtle here. Lovely, pretty turtle. I think it's got like some crystals inside. I want to say it kind of looks like a venturine. Sorry, it's kind of blurry there, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure this was my grandma's, so it's a lovely little trinket. Um, so we have pile number two here. Hello, hello. Um, let's explore your creative talents. Being a general reading, some things might not apply for everyone, but take what you need from this reading and yeah, just keep your mind and heart open. Uh, five of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Hanging Man, Cardinal. The polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance, so do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. That's really what I was getting from these few cards. I'm seeing that there's a lot of uh, perspective, Milky Way, and hole in the soul. Oh, there's some heavy stuff happening with you right now. I'm sorry to hear that. You're having a hard time kind of getting perspective on life. Um, I know that this isn't about your particular creativity, but I am seeing that, yeah, there's some heavy stuff that um, you're just feeling like you can't see the world in in a creative way anymore and you really want to your creativity manifests in a way um, where you connect with others and you feel like alive with connecting with others and you really allow yourself to um, kind of open your doors and open your heart um, in a way that allows you to feel connected with yourself and with others around you the ace of cups right here sorry if i'm talking a little fast i'm having a little bit of an excitable day so <laughs> Uh, Ace of Cups, so this is about that creative vision, the newness, the birth, the emotional kind of um, vision. So I'm seeing that you have a really incredible vision. So you really see and put a lot of your emotions into your art and into your creative endeavors, which is a lovely place to start from. Ace of Cups is all newness. So when you create a new project is when you're happiest. I feel like you're kind of maybe a little bit harder on yourself as you continue through this project. To be honest, most artists are. Um, however, you enjoy the vision, you enjoy the brainstorming, the, the imagination, the sort of like, wow, what can this look like? What can this feel like? And you really work through emotion with how you express yourself creatively. Um, and it's really exciting for you to start new projects. So you're like super enthusiastic, usually at the beginning of new projects, but I'm also seeing that sometimes you definitely get deterred and you kind of lose that sense of vision throughout your process. Um, whole in the soul. To me, this is a very heavy card, which is why I send my heart and love out to you. You really express deeply through your um, through your uh, creative endeavors and your heart. And I'm seeing that you may feel like you're missing something. And the thing that I feel like you're missing is this creative spark and this newness and this exciting sort of like new venture of like, hey, what am I able to create and birth um, in, in, in sort of like a crafty uh, way that can make me feel like I'm being productive. Because honestly, when we create things, it actually 
like physically releases good happy feel good chemicals into our brain it's like that dopamine um, we lately get we don't we get dopamine from small doses of lots of different things but the greatest and most rewarding like form of dopamine is through the creative um, process and i'm seeing that you're really missing that you're feeling like you don't really have like like you kind of just feel a bit numb i'm feeling like you're very numb and you just really can't like figure out how to shift that i'm seeing that this like filling your hole with these things that you feel like you're lacking and just expressing yourself creatively is what's going to kind of get you out of this hole of feeling like meh because i feel like you're feeling stuck with the hanged man i see okay you're stuck you're creatively stuck you're feeling like oh, i don't even know what i want to do i don't even know what i want to start but this sense of perspective is like not necessarily it's not good to hang here too long um, because I feel like you've been hanging here for a while trying to get new sense of perspective, which to me, hanging man is all about perspective, which is amazing to me. Um, but th it's not really giving you the perspective that you need. You've already taken enough time to just kind of contemplate what you need to do. You just need to kind of get into action and do it and really, uh, grab hold of that kind of creative aspect of yourself and, and push forward in a way that you feel like. Yeah, you're fulfilling yourself. You're filling yourself. You're filling the hole in your soul with things that can be rewarding um, and incredible. And it seems it says the cardinal, the polarity of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance. So I'm seeing that you're not really in touch with that aspect of yourself. You are a creative person and creativity can give you amazing amounts of fuel. Um, I'm seeing that uh, I'm not I'm not picking up on any particular sort of uh, creativity, but for some reason, just just from this card. I'm seeing that hands like work like like just something you need to get your hand like tactile it's something tactile you need to just like interact with like a like a particular um oh, what the hell is it called like a material a particular material that's going to make your hands feel satisfied just like touching things like the smoothness of of wool or the dirt in your hands of gardening or you know something like in something um and so just kind of like seeing the statue here it also kind of makes me think of like plants or gardening or sculpting or something like that not necessarily to say that's what you do this is a general reading so it could apply to a few different people but regardless um it's going to uh, like allow you to feel like you can create in a way that that you feel you know good in creating um, yeah, and the Cardinal is just really encouraging just to get back into the balance of that creative uh, endeavor. So it's really fantastic. And just really putting your, that excitement, that initial excitement and emotion that you get from doing new projects um, to just really understand that that will come and just like focus, focus your perspective on something that is going to fulfill you. That's going to be like, hey, you know what? Like I did something. Look, as much as everything is chaotic, look what I did. I did this thing. Um, and you can feel proud of that. Even if it's not the most beautiful thing, you can feel proud that you actually did something with that creativity because it's a really great way of expressing yourself. Um, the Five of Pentacles, to be honest, for a while I was kind of staring at this card and I'm like, huh, how can this apply? So the Five of Pentacles kind of means that you're not really taking the help that you like you 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 need right now um how this applies creatively i'm not really sure um but the five of pentacles to me is just like okay come in out from the cold and allow yourself to do the things that you need to do and stop being so stubborn <laughs> you know what you need to do in order to make yourself feel better um what you need to do to make yourself feel better really isn't that far away um but you just it's just this 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 grueling shift of perspective because it's this perspective that's kind of keeping you stuck in this particular like point of view and just being like oh yeah i'm like yeah i'm kind of here and i'm just not really doing much and I just kind of feel empty and just kind of whatever allow yourself to do the things you know you need to do i don't care if you're tired i don't care if you're feeling like crap try it for five minutes try it there's a bug in the lens if you see some thingy it's not a spirit i just want <laughs> it's a freaking bug um and yeah so just really embrace this aspect of yourself and be like okay yeah you know what i'm not doing the things i necessarily need to do in order to feel better i'm still kind of hanging i'm recognizing that i'm out of balance but you do have this vision so don't forget about this vision and this creative sort of like yeah i want to express what i feel and let that be your motivation if you feel like crap do something that makes you like ex like the expression of feeling like crap. What does that look like to you? Um, and this doesn't necessarily have to be something that's like physically crafty. You can make a new like routine for yourself or you can make a list for yourself. It can be anything um, in that regard. But just like get your get your ducks in a row here, if you will, um, because this creative energy is going to get you back out there and it's going to give you a new perspective in, in how you can create balance for yourself through what you're putting in the world. That is pile number two, my darlings. Um, if you enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Only if you liked it, guys. Come on, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fishing for likes here. <laughs> 
Um, but, uh, and comment if you'd like, I'd love to hear how this applied to you. If this did, um, if it resonated with you and subscribe, if you want more, I'm going to be doing pick a card readings and like metaphysical videos. Mostly I'm sticking with pick a cards right now. Cause it's nice to do anyways, have a fabulous day group number two, and I will see you later. Okay, 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 okay. Hello, group number three. I love how you picked the axe. Let me ask you a question. Why did you pick the axe? Sometimes this, this represents conflict, but to me, this this seems like such a badass, like, barbarian, like, axe. Like, I just feel like it's, like, uh, like no bullshit sort of here. Just, like, boom, cut through all the bullshit. Um, sorry. Pile number three. <laughs> Distracted. Um, we're going to get into what are your creative talents? What kind of ways can you flourish your creativity? This might not pertain to a specific skill, but just like how you're able to kind of get your creativity back on track, what you should be focusing your creative energy towards, et cetera, et cetera. Being a general reading, this might not apply to everybody. So just take what you need. Um, keep your mind and heart open and let's begin. The Fool. Ooh, I love. The Empress. Ooh, also love. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. Chimpanzee. Uh, use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem and get answers for your question. Shaman, ancient healing wisdom, and soulmate. Wowza. Um, I feel like you're a very spiritual person um, and you're very like fun. You're very fun. You have this kind of like kid-like sort of like giggly jokester sort of attitude about you because there's this there's this fool card here and by no means is is a fool to be honest in the major Arcanian insult. It is about playfulness. It is about being able to see life and kind of just dance through it and be like, yeah, there's all this crazy stuff happening, but here I am. So, but, but I feel like it's balanced. It's a very balanced energy because we have the Empress, which is very nurturing and kind and loving. So you have this super like caring, loving energy about you, but you also have like this kid, like fun energy and it's super sweet and it's super wonderful. And I feel like the combination of both of those things makes just a really well-rounded person. Um, and yeah, like to me, it's just like the axe, just like having that strength. And just kind of being like, chop, 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 I'm chopping through all the problems. Um, it's not to say that you don't feel like, like you're not mature. You're very mature and you're very well-rounded. But you have this way of seeing the world that makes you more <sighs> gentler than others. More um, free-spirited than others. And um, that's a really beautiful quality to have just in a sense of being creative um, because it opens the doors to kind of having a more well-rounded, established sense of creativity, but also not being too hard on yourself as well. So I'm seeing that just in the, the Wheel of Fortune card is you kind of like to do creative things and art around um, life, around life cycles, around um, maybe emotion, things, thoughts. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is about cycles. So it's like when you are shifting cycles in your life, I feel like that's kind of when your creative juices start flowing, when you're recognizing like, okay, this is this place of acceptance. I'm just going to let go and allow the world to kind of take me where it needs to go. Because as much as I'm seeing that you're a very beautiful person, I'm seeing that there's like a little bit of a resistance to change, a little bit of anxiety regarding to, regards to that. But I am seeing that through creativity, you'll be able to channel this. You'll be able to kind of get more in touch with like, get out of this space of being like having a hard time resisting the change that's happening in your life and moving more into kind of like this playful nature. Creativity makes you playful and it keeps you in touch with yourself as you're going through the various phases of life. Um, as much as, you know, it can be a challenge for you. I'm seeing that this is a very beneficial thing to rely on when you are feeling like, okay, life is turning. I have no, I have no like power in this. I have no say in what's going to happen next. So why don't I take something beautiful, take a beautiful project and just like put it, put it into something physical that I can, I can, it can be palpable. It can understand and bring out that inner child of creativity that's within you because that's how you're going to get in touch with it. You're a very sensitive, receptive and kind and caring person. So when you see other people kind of in distress, it's really hard on you. Um, so it's really important for you to take that time to nourish those creative abilities and be able to process through some of those more difficult emotions. So the chimpanzee I'm seeing again with the fool, you're fun. You're a lot of fun to be around. Um, and it's really important to understand that just because you're feeling a little bit worried or you're feeling anxious doesn't mean that you can't continue to have fun. Um, and it's very important for you to have this in your life. You're silly, you're a goose, and I love it. It's a beautiful, fun energy that's just kind of like la-di-da, playful. I want you to stay playful in your creative energy and 
Um, just for the chimpanzee, it's very solar plexus chakra, so that's of the yellow color, and that's like personal power. So you find your personal power in being funny, making jokes, making other people laugh, caring about other people. So like maybe you have fun through your words. Maybe you really enjoy, um, you know, funny things or humor um, or things like that kind, caring, and loving. You're a very loving person when you jump into things. Like you love people with all of your heart, which to me is that soulmate. So it's that really passionate, strong, um, empathic energy that's coming through here. But just know as well, loving deeply can create a multitude of emotions. So it's just like you, you, you're deep, but you're playful. It's like this cute little balance of like, yeah, okay, I've got some, you know, I've got some things I'm dealing with in terms of worries and anxieties and having difficulties in life, but I always just want to enjoy myself and have fun and laugh. So find new creative ways to make yourself laugh. Find new, you know, do something silly, do something that'll make other people laugh. I'm seeing that there is definitely this, this component here and this really caring kind of super silly energy which I adore and I love but at the same time like the shaman's here so it's ancient healing wisdom so as much as you have like sort of this light-hearted perspective on things sometimes and you really bring that out in other people I'm seeing that you're actually a very um, wise person and you're very smart and intelligent so your emotional intelligence is very high and your ability to connect with people and make them smile and laugh is essentially like your human superpower. So you're able to just kind of like jump into people's emotional energy field and be like, okay, hey, like I'm here. I, you're awesome. I'm going to make you smile. I'm going to help you through some of the hard times in life. And so in it, in itself, it's not necessarily uh, like a necessarily a physical creative thing. I'm seeing that you're very creative with how you speak, how you perform, how you act. You might be a little theatrical. Um, so in this sense, yeah, it's that kind of, creative aspect in in that way and if you have other talents in terms of expressing yourself that's excellent too but i am really picking up that this is kind of like your really deep core strength and just being able to bring it out in people and bring out others sense of creativity and bring out their their own kind of like childlike wonder beautiful freaking reading pile number three i love you type of people you types of people are my types of people the good types of people <laughs> um yeah. Um, if you have uh, any comments about this reading, if this resonated with you, I would love to hear what you have to say in uh, the comment section below. I'm always very, very thankful to hear from you guys. Love you seriously to pieces. If you enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, that's all right too. Um, and subscribe for more uh, metaphysical and pick a card reading type videos. Love you lots. Thank you so much for being fabulous and watching this video and have a Super jazzy day. How loud. Okay. Hey, pile number four. What's happening? What's shaking? What's going on? Um, we have a butterfly here. Mm, very beautiful and transformative. I'm going to hold that up for you just so you can see. Look at that. Um, this is my grandmother's pin, and uh, it's very special, so I have that in my charm collection. So thank you for choosing that one. Um, today we're going to take a look at what are your creative talents and abilities and all that good stuff. This can pertain to specific talents. Sometimes I'll pick up specific talents, but more so how creativity kind of like affects you and how you can kind of get your creative juices flowing. Um, being a general reading might not apply to every single person, every single thing I say, so take what you need. I always encourage that. Take what you need and if you don't like what I say that's okay you don't need to take that with you okay just do what feels right for you king of pentacles oh impressive uh three of pentacles four of pentacles what is going on <laughs> cat it's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over dependency on others forest breath and wild wow so for some reason um i'm seeing that you like to work with your hands you like to create you like to build um this could be construction this could be like little crafty things i'm seeing that there might be a lot of kind of um gravitation towards like wood towards like using natural materials to build and to create things whether it's like little terrariums or like actually like constructing things from wood decorative items um just a lot of really earth energy in this like holy smokes earth energy like you wouldn't believe 
you love to get out into the wild. Look at this. We got the wild. We have like literally a boat, which is wooden. We have like a forest, which is wooden. All the pentacles are all of earth, all grounding. And then we have the kitty cat. I'll get into the kitty cat. I haven't yet I haven't yet assimilated kitty cat into the reading, so I haven't thought that far yet. But I am really fascinated with the with the beautiful kind of earth quality that you have and you just really love just getting your hands in the earth and just being like yes yes this is how I'm able to just kind of like really connect myself my kitty cat wants attention sorry um which is crazy because I drew the cat card oh my god guys and my cat's orange is super weird um hello um yeah, so maybe like you like creating things for your home. This like the cat is the domestic sort of thing. It's just like you kind of like to scope out your environment being like, okay, like what can I use creatively? You're very, you're very observant to the materials and things that are around you and just being like, how can I use this? How can I create? I am seeing that you have a very like strong driven entrepreneurial kind of work ethic when you do jump into this creativity you're very you have kind of like a visionary you kind of really you're really good at planning details um, and being able to kind of put that into action you do enjoy working with others but right now just because you're maybe used to working with others and can't um, it's time to really allow yourself to work on your own um, and really apply those skills however i am seeing that you are really collaborative and you are you really do enjoy um kind of taking other people's creative advice and their creative kind of like twist on things, which you still can do. Um, but I am seeing that, yeah, there is this gravitation towards feeling like you're really connected to the earth and really connected to kind of like um, nature. It's a lot about nature and you feel most at peace and most at home when your home is surrounded by the things that make you feel comfortable and remind you of the peace of the forest and peace of, of the wild and just being free. Um, so right now, as you're kind of like... I don't know, I put this way down here. Um, while you're kind of like at home right now, being the COVID sort of thing, um, this is just my suggestion to you, is to just allow yourself to surround yourself with things that make you feel free. Um, and creating things that will kind of allow you to, to experience and feel that is going to make you feel so much better because you're going to be like, my home is a sanctuary. You're domestic. You like being at home. You like being cozy. So make your home a sanctuary and create your home in a way that you would want um, you know, that, that, that you really desire. Uh, for some reason I'm having, um, some things here. So the, I feel like the roadblock with that is that you're having a hard time kind of like letting some things go. You might need to clear out some space in your house to, to allow this to happen. Um, but just be okay with just understanding that the, that the things that you put your love and your hard work and your energy to are so much more valuable than any of these silly needless possessions. As well as it's like, okay, right now you're also working on um, making sure that you are um, saving your money and making sure that you're being smart and you're being practical. Gather things from nature. Um, if you're able to have access to nature, that's wonderful. That's excellent. I really hope that you are able to kind of get outside and be away from people in some sort of way. But I'm seeing that there are some options for you to kind of have more of like a lower cost um, sort of endeavor here which makes you you know you're like financially smart you're like yeah okay like this is how I'm able to do this but I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on it use nature um, use things and if you don't have like the resources there might actually be people around you that do um, and you know of course being safe and keeping your distance and everything but there are resources around you that you're able to reach out to and and other people are willing to help you with this pursuit as well um, to just kind of allow you to fall into your creative sense of just like entrepreneurial, you like to stay like, you're like hardworking, you like to visual of hard work. So your hard work will be displayed in your home um, and just for you to see. So you can look at it every time and feel satisfied to be like, yeah, I do work hard, look what I created. It's sort of like a really nice reminder to yourself that you are a very entrepreneurial and a very wise person and just somebody that is really well-founded. <sighs> really well-founded. I just give you all the love and yeah just let yourself be wild and have fun with it um that's all i'm getting for pile number four pile number four um i hope that this resonated with you i know that i was talking a little bit quickly um but i just feel like this was a nice quick reading to just kind of cover the bases of what you need to do to get that creative kickstart happening um if yeah if you enjoyed please give me a thumbs up i would love to hear about your opinions um, in the comments as well and subscribe for more pick a card readings divination metaphysical whatnot all like like awesome stuff um, and i will uh, talk to you and see you next time thanks again Hello!
pile number five, you picked the lovely um, crystal geode. It's so sparkly and so pretty. Thanks for choosing this deck. Um, nice quick readings today. So we'll just kind of get to the gist of uh, what are your creative talents? What kind of things can you do to flourish and allow your creativity to spring forward? And um, yeah, just kind of opening your eyes to how to get your creative juices flowing. Now, this is a general reading. If it does not apply to everybody, that is okay. Take what you need um, and just kind of work with it. Um, this is going to maybe take a look at some um, of how creativity affects you. So we have the Seven of Cups, <laughs> Knight of Cups, Strength, Manatee, accept the situation as it is rather than accepting the fight change, Dragonfly, Emergence, and th um, Courage. Wow. Okay, you're feeling overwhelmed right now. Um, so, of course, you're not really able to focus on what, what kind of projects you want to do. You have a very um, creative mind and you are thinking about so much right now. It's just taking over your brain um, and it's making you feel like, wow, there's like so many things right now. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with myself. I have so many emotions. I have so many things. You wear your heart on your sleeve because this is the Knight of Cups. So it's just like you full full forward with passion but you're not too sure what that passion looks like because you're feeling like you're lacking strength right now there is this aspect of you that's like okay i have all of this emotion all this energy but i'm feeling like i'm stuck in this haze you're recognizing that it's time like okay i feel like i need to finally decide to do something with this energy and to not make like life so confusing confusing and filled with illusions so right now, just because of what's going on, and I want to say this, um, I do like this to be a timeless video. Of course, you can do it anytime, but just during the COVID um, crisis, which we're having right now, um, you are feeling a lot and you're thinking about a lot. And yeah, there are a lot of possibilities. There are a lot of things and illusions and I don't know which direction to take. I don't know what to follow and what to do. But I am seeing that you are driven by passion and driven by um you know, excitement and adventure and, and, and love. You kind of have like this kind of hopeless, romantic sort of, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> uh, attribute to you. And the Knight of Cups is like, yeah, it's that beautiful, um, fun, loving energy. That's like, yeah, I'm going to push forward. I'm going to express myself. Um, and just because like you're not entirely sure which direction you should put that energy towards, you're feeling like, yeah, I don't feel really I don't feel really organized right now. I don't feel really strong in what I'm doing. I don't know if I can take on another project. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, um, I don't know if I can take on another project and I'm not sure what that's going to even look like and you just can't get your ducks in a row emotionally because you're feeling so many things. But I want you to know that you are motivated by this passion and this love and this, and this strength and to really uh, follow through with that. Um, I'm feeling like I'm going to need to get some more messages because I feel like this is a little bit a little bit general for my liking. So we're going to pop into here. So we're going to do the manatee. So accept the situation as is rather than fighting to change it. So I feel like you're still having a hard time and you're resisting some of the changes that are happening in the world right now. And so you're, a lot of your emotional energy is kind of going towards that. And because you're like having this resistance to change and you're having all of these conflicting thoughts like, oh my gosh, like I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what I should do. I need you to kind of work more into embracing this um, sort of like this change that's happening um, and see it as it is and work on this level of acceptance even though you don't want to accept what's happening um, it is creating this this block for you uh, creatively and um, and and it's kind of allowing you to not really know what direction you should take and what you should do so in being like okay you know what this is where I'm at right now might not be the best situation might be the best situation I'm not sure um, there's a lot of possibilities, a lot of things that can happen right now. Yeah, there is a lot of things that can happen right now. A lot of uncertainties. So in a few months, I could wake up and this could be totally fine. There could be no problems. Um, or, you know, it could be the opposite, right? We spend so much time in our heads. We don't really allow ourselves to get into our bodies and allow ourselves to create through our bodies. That's how you're going to express some of these worries and some of this um, kind of restlessness. I feel like you're going to emerge <clears throat> we have the dragonfly here, so it's like this emergence from the from the depths, from the water, um, and it's like the manatee too. You know, it's this it's this water type energy, this really sensitive, this really receptive energy, um, and you have beautiful emotions and beautiful ways of expressing them. Um, but right now, you're feeling trapped and you're feeling stuck. I need you to continue to work on expressing your emotions, um, like I don't know if it's through journaling or just something. <clears throat> Something to allow you to emerge from this kind of murky waters so that you're able to really grab onto your Knight of Cups energy and be creative. 
And this is the calling you to have courage. You know, this guy's walking through the dark. He doesn't really know where he's going and he's nervous and he's scared and he's probably feeling a lot of a lot of things. And there's this spoopy lady that's like, I'm going to get you. And he's like, oh, like I'm venturing on in the night. And he's kind of like ready because he's got his hand out. And he's like, all right, I'm going to like, I'm going to kick some ass if I need to. But despite knowing the dangers, it's just going forward and making a decision anyways. And I'm seeing that's very important for you to do. As much as you're confused, you need to continue to make choices for yourself and you need to make choices um, that you feel, you you making choices are going to make you feel like you have strength, make you have control, you have reins. As much as those choices might hold different types of illusion um, and different types of confusion, <clears throat> Making these choices will open your creative juices and open that like kind of flow for you to continue to be like, okay, I can keep moving forward. I can focus my mind on other things that will give me more emotional fulfillment. And you'll kind of just kind of like wipe clean all the other stuff that you don't need right now. Um, because it's very important to understand this aspect of yourself as it is going to change you. It's actually going to transform you into kind of a new aspect of yourself that actually feels a lot stronger and a lot more well-rounded as you're able to kind of navigate through this <clears throat> confusing situation i am so sorry i do not know what is going on with my throat um i have no idea it's like a tickle i'm fine i'm good um but yeah <clears throat> i've been talking a lot the last couple of days this is kind of like your reading for pile number five um like i said nice quick reading um if this resonated with you i would love to hear your comments in the description um give me a thumbs up if you liked it uh subscribe for more pick a card readings and um metaphysical type readings, whatever you need. Um, and yeah, if you have any video suggestions, I'd be very happy to take them in the comments below. Um, seriously, love you guys so much. So much support. Thank you for almost 400 subscribers. Um, it means the absolute world to me to know that I'm helping you guys and that's a huge motivation for me in this time. Um, so keep rocking your fabulous selves and I'm looking forward to making more of these videos for you. Okay, Mwah. love you lots. Take care. Bye-bye.